day, mates. Just out here working on the old VW. Thought it'd be time to have a nice coldie. So I could have me a Foster's Australian for beer. Did you know that Australians aren't too hop on Foster's beer? It's uh, this actually says brewed in the USA and uh, it was uh, invented by two Americans that went to Australia so uh, anyhow but we're probably gonna take this into the man cave and try it in there because it's a bit windy out here okay okay So, what's been going on with you all? That's interesting. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so, I've been, uh, you see the VW, I, it's been a while since I've done a video on the uh, 67 VW Beetle. Uh, I haven't been doing any videos, how-to videos or anything on that. Uh, just because there's 50 million of them out there and I haven't felt like videotaping every second of it. So I will try to get some uh, pictures of progress in the video. Um, what have we done to it? So the body's obviously off of it. Took the body off. I've had it off a couple times actually. I put new floor pans in it. Welded those in. Uh, been working on brakes. All new hardware up front, new brake lines. Uh, I'm actually waiting on one more brake line. Uh, and then I can put the uh, reservoir back on and fill it up and finish that system. Um, I put two inch drop spindles on the front, so it lowered the two and a half inch drop spindles on the front. Lowered the front. I lowered the rear with the, uh, I guess they'd be considered torsion arms. Uh, did that to match the front kind of uh, got all new fuel I got a fuel pump got all new fuel lines from the tank all the way to the fuel pump to the carburetor uh, got it running got it started as you've seen uh, and until I went and to uh, clean the motor I didn't have any problems it was running good and then I decided I wanted to clean up the back of the motor where there was a bunch of crud and when I did that I opened up a hole on the back of the block top of the block uh, I was told that it was using a lot of oil when it was parked that's why they parked it well I figured out why it had a hole on the top of the block so I cleaned that up and put some JB Weld uh, engine block sealer on there it helped it got it stopped it mostly but I still got a little bit of seeping where I can't really get to because of those engine tins and I'm not gonna take those off right now so uh, seeping just a little bit of oil uh, for those of you who drive old cars it's probably nothing that's probably normal for you all um, like the Nissan for a while it was using half a quart of oil a week until it crudded over and stopped so that's what we're going to try to do with this for now. Drive it, drive it that way. Uh, I've got an extra block. We may build the motor eventually. So we got all that done. Got the front seats recovered. Uh, so work gave me four weeks off with pay for parental bonding. We got the new one. I'll show a video here of that. The circle of life. <laughs> okay, so the new one is here. Uh, her name is Willow. Uh, she's been here three weeks now. I'm going on, uh, got one more week off of work. I'm trying to get this VW bug situated, get the body back on it. And at least get it driving down the road a little bit. Uh, I may not drive it to work yet, but uh, 
Still got a couple more parts supposed to come in in a couple days from J-Bugs. That brake line, uh, that's the main important thing. And then uh, a barrel nut that connects the throttle cable to the carburetor. So uh, waiting on those two things and it should be drivable. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So let's try this Foster's beer. That's a big beer. This is, uh, how many ounces is this? I don't even see it written on the can. It's probably on here somewhere. 25.4 fluid ounces. One pint, 9.4 fluid ounces. Lager beer. Brewed and packaged under the supervision of Foster's Brands LTD by Oil Can Breweries in Fort Worth, Texas. All right. Here's a view of the can. Foster's Lager. Like I said that's a big boy can. That'd be good for a project beer. That get you through a little bit of a project. Now obviously you don't want to operate anything too dangerous while drinking an entire can of this. Probably better put the grinding cut off wheels down. I've had this before. It's just been a super long time. I saw it on the shelf and I figured I'd give it another go. Big can. Smells like beer. Smells pretty good. Doesn't smell hoppy like an IPA. That's the thing about it. I saw that Australians actually prefer IPAs or the majority. That's what they had before we came and got them this beautiful Foster's Lager. That smells pretty good though. Alright, let's give it a sip. Yep. Tastes like beer. Does not taste like IPA. Um, it's fairly smooth. I'd say it's probably a little bit heavier than a natural light, Miller light, all of them light beers. But uh, it's not super, super heavy like a a Guinness or anything. I'm not going to drink this whole can in front of you. That will take a little while. So, uh, we're out there working on the bug and I actually got a, a pork butt on the Weber grill. Uh, it's 104. I put it on this morning at 630. Hoping to get it done around 6, 7 tonight. In three weeks I've been off work I've been getting fatter I'm sure I probably won't be able to wear my work pants anymore I'll have to go in on a speedo or something maybe that maybe I do that and they'll send me home for another four weeks we can only hope so what do I give this rating of Foster's Lager Bears General General beers, I'll give it an eight, seven or eight. Nothing special. Tastes like a regular old everyday beer. No fancy quirkiness about it. No fancy flavors. Just tastes like an everyday lager. So, thanks for watching. Try to get some footage of the VW. Do a little walk around. Show you what we got going on, what we got left maybe. Enjoy your weekend, it is the weekend. If you're on vacation, enjoy your vacation. If you're on parental bonding time, enjoy that. Foster's, Australian's famous beer brand. Excuse me.
Here's what we got. The rear of the motor. New plug wires, distributor, fuel pump, fuel lines. Actually got a beer bottle can wrapped around my coil there. That's fat bottoms out of, uh, I think it might be Memphis, somewhere in Tennessee. Put some J-tubes on it. Got rid of the heater boxes. And back here is where the hole was at. The hole is right along this line of the tin and the block. I don't know if we can get zoomed in on where that thing's seeping oil at. Somewhere right in there. That was a pain in the butt to get down in there. So we got new floor pans welded in. Brake hoses, brake line. I'm waiting on this brake line here to finish the brake system. Two and a half inch drop spindles. Cleaned up the pedals, redid those, refurbished those, got those work in order, they were locked up. But you can't get those pedals very easily right now. Of course we got our seats. I only got one on there for the purpose of the video. And right now the body is just sitting on the ground. Uh, before I did this I had it on boards, but it's only gonna sit there for a couple of days, so I'm not really too worried about it. Nice shag carpet, shag grass carpet on the inside. Got to repaint all that, get some pour 15 on that.